Okay, so I've set up another a third character and we're going to make this guy jump over uh, instead of like the other two going underneath. So we're going to exercise a, a couple of things here. Um, okay, so we want him to, we want the first kind of layer of motion to be the actual position. And I do realise I should um, name these, but um, I, I always forget to do that. Um, so he's going to go... Uh, he's gonna he's gonna jump at the same time these guys leave so frame seven okay um, so obviously um, let's just turn that on uh, so I can see all my keys um, now I want him to stay there and uh, so I can just plant a key there and then copy it and we did it a little bit differently last time um, and then he's gonna jump uh, so there's going to be my start jumps frame seven he's going to jump and his apex needs to be higher than that box um, and that box gets to its apex at frame 11 um, but I don't want that they, they finish at frame 17 so 10 so uh, so I'm going to go round about here frame 12 frame 13 doesn't really matter let's do frame 12 um, I want him to be up here so I'm going to place him here okay give him a bit of, bit of room there and then at frame 17 maybe maybe you can land a little bit after these guys frame 18 uh, frame 17 sorry uh, we're going to um, put him back on the floor now if I'm using a grid it's hard to get him on the floor um, but um, or what you could do is if you're not sure about getting him precisely on the grid what you could actually do is just copy that frame there where he's copy the frame where he's over here just copy that chuck it frame 17 and obviously he's going to be back but then just drag it on that axis so you know that it's definitely on right so you're going to have this now obviously we've got the same problems he doesn't look like he's bouncing uh, he doesn't look like he's, he's dropping and gravity's taking place uh, i'm just going to hide these because they're a little bit annoying so we need to fix that um, I'm going to do this through the curves again. It's the same process we did earlier. We're going to grab these and look at the curves, not the dope sheet, the curve editor. Uh, and then we've animated them on the Z position. So again, you're going to see the same uh, slow curve. So I'm going to grab them both and just go fast. Close that out. And there we go. Now, again, we've got another problem. So when we're bouncing in... Um, in the same spot it's fairly simple we don't have this but now we have an arc problem and this is another principle of motion um, our arc is, is it's just a little bit off and when we jump the arc is usually symmetrical unless there's another force that's kind of interjecting halfway through so we need to be able to see this arc okay so we can go to the uh, the, the animation motion panel uh, and we can go into motion paths and here we can see the motion paths. Now it's a fairly decent arc, to be honest. Um, and if you want to change where the arc is, um, then go to the middle frame and we'll just see. Now I think um, for a jump, uh, the arc is a little bit stubby. So I want him to jump a little bit higher and a little bit, so it's a little bit more symmetrical, like this. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Now he obviously doesn't look like he jumps because he just kind of lifts off. Um, but at least the curves are there and the momentum. Okay, so we'll keep that as a jump. Now, to make it more realistic, he could actually jump um, a lot higher. And then we, if we look at that animation, it's very fast. That's the problem. Um, and because he's going further, it has to be faster. So we want to get it as low as we can. Um, but I don't like short stubby or, uh, arcs but it is a cartoon okay um, I'm going to come off motion paths uh, I don't need to see that anymore um, I'll, I'll look at it when we do some rotation and stuff so there we go I've got him jumping over and if we unhide the other guys he gets there but he doesn't look like um, he's actually like getting ready to jump or he, you know he's doing anything um, so with that we need another principle which is anticipation we need to know that he's going to jump and we did this we've done this with the box 
um, it kind of squashes before which is the anticipation that it's going to squash uh, that it's going to jump and then it actually jumps so we need that frame as well and we can do that with um, some scale um, so we're going to do that with scale so we're going to go uh, and go our squash and stretch scale and we're just going to do this the bottom half the body we're going to look at the head later on um, so he should he should scale the head um, because of this because this is linked so he's going to stay at that scale at frame zero and he's going to stay at that scale at frame seven uh, but or is he no he's not i want him to he leaves the floor there so i want him to to go let's have him like kind of powering up so he goes from that scale and then he goes like this but he does it over the whole frame range um do, 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 do. Oh. Actually, that looks a little bit silly. Let's let's just let's just have him at the at the at that that scale, the and then he does it. So as soon he he he, he squashes down like he's going to jump, and then as soon as he's in the air, obviously, look, we've got a bit of stretch going on. Boom, and then when he reaches the arc, he's round about the same scale now this is where we have problems and this introduces you to a new little uh, thing on the timeline now I want to copy the scale information from this frame because this is where is normal scale uh, but if I copy that frame I'm going to copy the position and the rotation and the position is going to change and it'll go back to here and I don't want that so what I can do is I can right click on the timeline and go to filters and just do current transform so it's only going to show me the current transform now I'm on the scale tool so it's going to show me the scale keys. So now I can copy the scale keys. Boom, boom, boom. He goes up. So I'm going to copy that scale key. So he's in normal scale. And then as he goes down, he hits the floor there, obviously. So I want him to be this scale there. He hits the floor. Uh, maybe like this. And then he's at normal scale at frame there. There we go. Oh, that's not normal scale. Did I copy the right one? No, I copied the wrong one. <laughs> that's the right one. There we go. Now that's quite nice. We like that. Now the problem with that is <clears throat> there's no rotation to this. Um, so we And there's no secondary like we did on these guys. So when these guys go, their heads rock back. There's not that going on. Now he's, he's jumping uh, and he's reached some type of velocity. So we need some of that going on as well. So we'll go to our rotation tool. And we'll say, um, okay, so when he jumps, uh, so when he goes from there, um, maybe he maybe he, he positions himself like that. Yeah, there we go. So he, do do do. And then he bump, bump, bump. So he's he's pointing in the direction, but we want him to rotate back. And then what, as he's coming down, I want him to be rotated. Actually, no. I want him to be rotated this way along his arc. Boom. There we go, and he's and he's and he's right. I don't need any more rotation. Now I could do some nice head rotation, obviously, because there's an inertia going on. So when this happens, now I'm going to key him. I'm going to key him at frame four, the rotation, just by hitting set key. And then, as he's anticipated, I want this to slightly rotate. So it's forward, and then he, he's gonna head first, fly up into the air, and then when he's at the peak, this is gonna be right back, and it's gonna carry on going down like this, and it's gonna be still at that at that kind of rotation, and then he hits, and it's gonna rock forward, maybe a little bit later on boom oh no that's too much so bring it back one it's too late that. there we go and we'll rock it back to normal there 
Okay, there we go. We're happy with that. So we've now got a, a three-man race. One actually jumps, and one uh, and two are, uh, are just running through the with the same kind of goal. Now what we could do is just cut, we could come out of keyframe, and we can just copy this twice. Just, and if we're out of keyframe, we copy it. It's going to copy everything about it. It's not going to key it. So they've all got one. And we can change the speeds of them boxes if we want and make a little scene. Where we could have these guys looking at the box as it raises and then they judge. We could do lots of things and that's up to you.